Some will find a clear path to the top. While others may take a few steps back before they figure out how to move forward. Because how you start doesn't always determine how you finish, who you eventually align with, or who you ultimately discover you really are. After that moment, choices you make can send your career different directions and have the potential to change the makeup of the WWE universe forever. But that's getting ahead of things. Everyone's rise through WWE is different. But it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain. What happens next is up to you. <laughs> of course, that match was an instant classic. But, Justine, which match of yours wasn't a classic? Oh, you're way too kind, Robin. To point out that very real truth. Were you nervous at all? Me? Nervous? <laughs> of course not. I had that match on lock. In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected. From my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger, Justine. Introducing the champion from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly.
again <laughs> after you talked it up so much on your podcast this week how can i not don't get me wrong it's a fantastic match i just figured you had it memorized by now sure but it's a tradition at this point is it my favorite aunt only aunt watch your most epic victories and now also stress about what i have to live up to in my debut at survivor series tomorrow night <laughs> uh, why are you laughing oh nothing just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece... Only niece? ...to be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl.
As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up? Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. Yet. No one knows who you are yet. Tom. Justine. And LJ, too? It's so good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on. Surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, I I've got a... I, I better go check on the, uh... Yeah, I got no good reason, but I'm gonna leave now. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Is that all right? No, that's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Great. Get settled and then let's talk. Justine? Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. Sorry, you're right. It's just... Well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but... Be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You all right? I'm all right. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. I love you, kid. You'll do great.
Hi, I'm... LJ, little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. How oh, precious. Yeah, I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. Did I do something wrong? What's with the attitude? Let me lay it out for you. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. Gets signed to WWE, continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way. Makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins her matches, and gets signed to SmackDown. Sounds pretty great, right? What's your point? Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. It does sound unfair. But I'm good at this. I got here on my own. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Hello to you, too. Figured we'd go hard in the ring since you're Team Raw and I'm Team SmackDown, but, uh, excuse me? Just because we both come from famous wrestling lineage doesn't mean we have anything in common. You're right. I'm better than you, both in the ring and out. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You gotta tell me exactly what she's like. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this.
sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Li overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. So they've made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? I love my aunt and she taught me a lot, but if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. All right, we'll see how management reacts. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. But if you're determined to make your own mark, you better have the performance out there to back it up. Go get changed, it's go time. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bayley. Team Raw. The superstars from the red brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top. Well, if you're referring to the fact that Team SmackDown has a mystery partner, I think that's just good strategy. The wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner. And their opponents, D, D, Liv Morgan, and Bianca Belair. Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? 
the final yeah. member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. Hold on tight, we're about to witness one of the most anticipated Survivor Series matches in years. And one of the most anticipated debuts in years. This rookie superstar could be the second coming of her legendary Hall of Fame aunt, Justine. Don't get your hopes up, Saxton. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here to blaze her own trail. Oh, she goes for the quick pin. An easy kick out there. The ref barely started the count. Turning the tables there. Ooh. Split legged leg drop. Kicks out. And did you hear the impact of that? With the Larian. Oh, man. Kick to the midsection. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Riptide! Covered by Ripley! Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the blue squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and an apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. And you decided to do something showy. Took your eyes off of what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. It's not my fault. You told me I had to make an impression in the ring. Listen, you get one brat moment with me and you just used yours up. Yes, you had to make an impression, 
by doing your job, not trying to steal the show on day one. You're here because you're good, and you could be great. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough, win or lose. But you bit off more than you can chew. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although maybe I can spin that since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. Nope. They'll just associate it with little old me. I've already seen the chatter on social media. Great. You're worried about social media at a time like this? Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown, and we'll take it from there. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. You really went for it out there, huh? Didn't hold back? I'm the niece of one of the most venerated WWE legends of all time. I needed to make my own mark and stand out. I still do. You need to take your time and not overthink this. But you're still learning, and regardless, Charlotte acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the Queen in her place. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Nah. But one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you think I liked training you so much? Right. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Don't talk to me like that. You certainly don't always have a perfect night. I'll talk to you how I want right now. You just spoiled the match for all of us. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are gonna rub this loss in our faces for a long time. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience.
Welcome to SmackDown. Thanks. You know, after what Liv said at Survivor Series, I wasn't sure if I'd be getting the warmest welcome today. Oh, you won't be. But I have a different perspective than the rest of the girls. In fact, I'm actually usually pretty rude to the newbies because, well, I don't want them coming for my SmackDown Women's Championship, but I don't have to worry about you at all. But I plan on coming for that championship. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're hilarious. After your huge mistake in the Survivor Series match, I know that must have been a joke. I don't have to be rude to you at all. We can be friends. I think we're done here. LJ, welcome to SmackDown. How you doing? I'm sorry that Survivor Series didn't go so well. Yeah, not the debut I was hoping for. Well, you're here now, and have your whole career ahead of you. Listen, I may just be a cameraman, so I can't help train you, but I've been with WWE long enough that I pride myself on knowing how things work around here. Happy to answer any questions you might have. What would you recommend in catering? Honestly, the tofu. Even if you eat meat, give it a try. The seasoning is incredible. Noted. Any other questions? Or anything you'd like me to explain again? Thanks, Tom. I think I have the info I need. Fantastic. Good luck tonight, LJ. I'm certain I'll see you around soon. So, I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now and I'm ready to go. That's great to hear. What do you have for me tonight? Now here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened, we should take a beat before we put the spotlight back on you. Don't worry. I took your advice to heart. I'm okay with starting small, out of the spotlight. I'm not expecting to main event right away. Good, because you won't be. I'm going to level with you. Backstage sentiment is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So my match tonight is... Non-existent. Ah. What can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does, but this will all blow over. My advice until then, find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't deny you. How am I supposed to do that if I can't get a match? I said I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. There are other opportunities to wrestle. Actually, I can pull some strings and get you on main event. You'll need to find an opponent though most of the roster is pretty busy with commitments on SmackDown, and I don't have time to play matchmaker. Pretty busy or pretty mad at me, from the sound of it. Yeah, I may have heard those rumblings. Although, have you met Ava Moreno yet? She's pretty new to SmackDown too, 
and also would have something to gain with a good showing on main event. We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to that, and I'll set up the match. If there's some sort of beef between you two, lean into it. No one said the match had to be friendly. Well, if it isn't little Justine. I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? Let's cut to the chase. I want a match on main event. Molly said she can get me one if I find an opponent. It sounds like getting that exposure could help both of us. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. What did you just call me? If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. Regardless of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is going to help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree. LJ. I've got some good news for you. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify. It's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. A match is a match, and if it helps me win a little favor around here to step up, count me in.
winning the match would help you gain even more favor. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, D. D. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella!
I know you're having a bit of a rough start, but it's like I always say, work hard, treat people fairly, and earn respect. Speaking of, if you'd like an opportunity to get some work in, I know someone who can put you through the ringer at the PC. Ever since she had to do a WWE decathlon during her PC training, she's loved giving newbies the same treatment.
over. I hear the powers that be are conspiring to keep you off of SmackDown. <laughs> they certainly are. WWE management has it out for me. I, too, have often been the victim of several conspiracies, most foul. Hang in there. Us persecuted need to stick together. Thanks, Sammy. Respect the effort, but it's gonna take a little bit more than that to get a match with me, LJ. Hey, what's up? I was actually hoping to see you around here. You were? Yeah, I loved watching old clips of your aunt on the network when I was growing up, but it was so cool when you debuted at Survivor Series and made it your own. I'm all about that. <sighs> Would have been cooler to win. What are you doing at SmackDown? NXT 2.0 doesn't take up enough of your time? Just doing some photo shoots and a little press. Honestly, it's been nice to be backstage at a show where I don't have to keep a lookout for toxic attraction. Not that I can't stand up for myself, but it's exhausting. Want some help? If you're offering, yeah. Honestly, I think they're just jealous. They may be hot and talented, but they could never do what I do. For one, they'd fall off the skateboard. You don't mind coming to NXT 2.0? Not at all. It's not like I'm spread too thin with all my matches on SmackDown.
and her partner from Chicago, Illinois, Cora G.G. Dolan and J.C. Jane, Toxic Attraction! Oh, get him!
someone's been busy. I'm not just having matches for your benefit. And I don't super appreciate your social media commentary. I don't really care about the motivation. Besides, I've realized something. What's that? Having a handful of matches is not the equivalent of putting in years of work at the Performance Center. You know, that thing you have to do if you didn't grow up with a famous wrestling family? The so-called dues you've paid over the past couple of weeks are pretty insignificant. Ugh, you're backing out of facing me on main event? I didn't say that. Because I also realize I can harness how unfair this is for my own good. Even if you can't benefit from your pedigree due to your overwhelming lack of talent, there's no reason why I shouldn't. And like it or not, and I do not, having a match with you, LJ, will increase my standing in the eyes of the short-sighted, legend-obsessed WWE management. Especially when I win. So you're in? I'm in. But I can't just squash you on main event. If we want people to stand up and really take notice, we're gonna have to have one banger of a match. So don't hold back. I know I won't. You're determined to make this personal, aren't you? <laughs> if it encourages you to try a little harder than you did at Survivor Series, yes. Fine. I'll ask Molly to set it up. We can settle this in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. Ruthless Universe, you know I'm not one for spoilers, but I have it on good authority that the next episode of WWE's main event is going to be can't miss. So don't miss it. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping... Tireless and fearless, it's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Ava Moreno is going to pull out everything in her toolkit tonight. Welcome to main event where Justine's niece is looking to put her Survivor Series debut in the rearview mirror against up-and-coming superstar Ava Moreno. Well, I've seen Ava at the PC, and she's as determined to make it in WWE as anyone out there. She'll be looking to make quick work of her unseasoned opponent. Come on, Corey, give Ava's opponent a chance. Rumor has it, she's been hustling to get much needed ring reps, so I feel. Oh, and a little saver there. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh, what a hook. She's forced onto the defensive now. 
Yeah, but too soon to be worried. She's struggling to defend herself. Yeah, her defensive instincts are all that's keeping her alive. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Forearm. Oh, my God. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. And finds a counter. There she goes. just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped around, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. And she has gained the advantage here. Yeah, she is absolutely showing no remorse. Ava doing what she can to halter the beatdown. That might be what gets Moreno out of jeopardy. And some effective offense with that one. Raising the arm before one. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Right, Boom! Way in time. Sequence of reversals there. Big hook. Got to look out for that right hook. Come on, you don't hit a WWE official. It was clearly an accident, Corey. But one that it looks like Ava is willing to take advantage of. Drop to the hole under the chair. A chair, a downed referee, and an opportunity. What's she going to do? Looks like both these women are ready to play dirty. She's going to use the chair. Uh, Ava with a bit of a tribute to Eddie Guerrero. And now the referee thinks she used the chair. It's a disqualification. It may not be the ending to this match we deserve, but it's the one we got. I can't imagine either of these two women are terribly happy with the outcome. I don't know, Cole. Looks like Ava might be. And at the end of the day, it's still a W for her. Well, pretty pleased with how that match went. Of course you are, you cheated! Pretty sure the rest saw you cheat, LJ. But I didn't actually do anything! You, of all people, should know it doesn't matter what actually happens. It only matters what others, in this case the ref, sees. Or think they see. <laughs> Me, of all people? What does that mean? I told you I would make the WWE Universe stand up and take notice. You planned this from the start, didn't you? Maybe not this exactly, but I knew I had to use an opportunity against you to make a statement. Didn't go exactly as I planned, but lucky for me, you don't even know how to cheat right. And now, everyone's talking about the victory I claimed over little Justine! Ava's right about that. It's the most buzzworthy main event match we've seen in a while. And not just the finish. You two are really going at it. It's got so much attention that management wants a rematch. <sighs> yeah, a fair one this time, I hope. Let me prove I'm better than her. I'm not faulting you for it, but don't pretend you weren't about to use that chair before Ava outsmarted you. And this one will be no DQ, which means no more shenanigans.
This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. It's the hardest working woman in WWE, Ava Moreno. Ava. After fireworks in their last match, Ava Moreno and her opponent are facing off again in a no disqualification match to take care of their unfinished business. I don't know about you, Cole, but I love that Ava will do anything to get the W. Should come in handy under these rules, or lack thereof. Let's see if Ava's opponent can match Moreno's intensity without losing focus. You have to think she needs a strong result here to restore her confidence after taking a loss. She dropped her like she was nothing. Boom! What a barrage of stops. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. She's beginning to flag a little. She still has a lot of time to recover. Hair pull mat slam! Just a tenacious assault from her. Yeah, she's really being the aggressive lately. Oh, she dropped her like she was nothing. Stop after stop after stop. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. She's got her here. Oh, the face has been planted. Great strength being shown here. From the ring, all the way to the floor. There's actually no regard for your opponent's safety when you toss them to the outside like that. Back straight into the post on the outside. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Squaring off right by our announce table. Moreno changes the direction of that one. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Everything's going against her now. Yeah, she has to start returning fire fast. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Oh, my God. Side and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. And you can tell there are true intentions in mind right now. Able to sidestep it. And there was some force on that move. This doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like trying to end someone's career. And that was a precisely measured attack. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Oosh. Whoa. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to her. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's doing a good job staying attached to her opponent. Oh, by the hair, whipped across the ring. That ain't right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that could have done some serious damage. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Opportunity for Moreno to shift the momentum. That might be what gets Moreno out of jeopardy. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Oh, by the hair, whipped across the ring. That ain't right. I wonder if she can withstand much more of this. Yeah, she needs to create an opportunity for herself fast. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. She's got the shoulders down. She doesn't even get a count of one. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Superhuman. Incoming. This 
Westwood. Got to find a way out of the single leg Boston Crab, and she does. Oh, kick to the midsection. DT. Looking for the victory. There's two. Nope. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Repeatedly in the corner. Complete dominance. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Just deadlifting right there. The power. Super oh, human. Able to capitalize on it. Moreno's in the worst way. Makes the cover. This win. When you're desperate for opportunities, a loss like this is going to sting a little worse. But she's also shown a persistent determination. So you have to imagine this loss will just make Ava hungrier. That's more like it. I think I've proven my point. I'm better. I guess you can keep up with me when I'm having a bad day. But better? You must have lost count, LJ. We're even. We both have one win and one loss. Ava's right on that point. <sighs> of course you'd be on her side. Do you really think I have it out for you somehow? Ava's right. As far as WWE is concerned, you're square. So, if you really want to settle the score, this needs to be a best out of three series. At least that's what management thinks. Fine. I'll beat her on the next main event, too. They'd actually like you to have the final match on SmackDown. On SmackDown? Are you serious? That's what I said, didn't I? Then I can't wait to beat her on SmackDown. Oh, calm down. Act like you go here. Just one thing. The show's already been booked and is pretty tight. I could only get you a little time. So it's officially a five minute time limit match. My recommendation if you want to finally settle this, someone better win quickly. I've been looking for you, but I haven't seen you around the locker room. You have? Honestly, I haven't had a reason to be in the SmackDown locker room before now. Yeah, I've been wanting to apologize for what I said to you at Survivor Series. I think I was a little harsh. <laughs> you were maybe just a little harsh, but... Nothing I can't handle. You made a mistake. Something I've done a few times in my career. Heck, I even crashed a wedding once. Not my proudest moment, but when you're in the thick of it, sometimes it's easy to get carried away. Anyway, I shouldn't have said everyone on SmackDown was mad at you. 
You weren't mad? Oh, we were. But if we stayed mad at every loss, no one would ever be friends. So I'm sorry. And I'm excited for your match tonight. As far as I'm concerned, you should have won that first one too. You had Ava on her heels. You watched our first main event match? Of course. Though, if you're gonna try something when the rev's down, you gotta work on your timing a little bit. Fair enough. Good luck out there. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, D. D. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. This is a woman ready to do some damage. Tireless and fearless, it's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. I don't know if there's a more talented wrestler than Ava Moreno. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but Ava's drive has kept her fighting for victories and opportunities. She's got a chip on her shoulder, and that makes her dangerous both to opponents and herself. Ava looks ready to make the most out of this opportunity. For those of you who have been following Ava Moreno and her opponent's rivalry over on Main Event, you're in for a treat. They're here on SmackDown to settle the score. And for those of you new to the rivalry, you're in for a treat too. These two haven't been in WWE very long, but they're already determined to crush each other. Unfortunately, they won't have much crushing time as this is a five-minute time limit match, so they better crush quickly. She could do it here. She kicks out with authority. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming.
reversal there. Oh, my goodness. And we just saw some serious offense. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Ava interrupts the attack. That is just insulting. Oh man, what a strike! Oh my god! Oh, right, right. She's starting to look concerned. She's just getting worked over right now. Yeah, you have to think her confidence is dropping now. Just bouncing that head like a basketball. What a shot! Oh, what a hook! Split leg drop! Incredible, absolutely incredible. Right, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, and she got out of there. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Momentum now on her side. The momentum is clearly turned on her And what a maneuver we just saw there. Oh. Oh, oh solid form. Ava telegraphing that one. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. Oh, the face has been planted. Oh, and she turns it around. Eats a punch to the face. Oh, Ava with a cause for concern. Seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. It's like I've always said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And did you see the finish of that match? What a victory! In fact, it's a day of victories for this whole family. Not only did my niece triumph in her first match on SmackDown, it's finally time for that big announcement I've been teasing. As you know, I recently appeared at Survivor Series, and it seemed that impromptu moment scratched an itch that the WWE Universe didn't even know they had. After some talks with corporate, we've come to an arrangement. And starting next episode, Ruthless Digressions will be an official WWE podcast. It'll be all the same content you love, just with a little more WWE oomph behind it, including a brand new studio set so we can record video for all our exclusive interviews. Move over, Broken Skull Sessions and Steve Austin. There's a new podcast host in town. And it's me.
Cheerio, LJ. Cheerio? You binge-watching another British costume drama? Well, yes, always. But no. WWE is planning another Queen's Crown tournament, and this time, they're really getting into the spirit of love for a monarchy. It's happening overseas at NXT UK. Well, that's pretty cool. You going over to cover it for ruthless digressions? Hey, pick me up one of those royal guard outfits, would you? No, I can't make the trip. But I was thinking you might. The spots have mostly been decided, but I've got an old friend over there, Tavish, and he can pull some strings and get you into the tournament. What are you still standing here for? Go pack your bags and grab your passport. <laughs> Unless you've got something better to do. Sounds smashing. I'll go pack. Oh, I think I need one of those plug things to make the electricity work. Yeah, a voltage adapter. You can buy one at the airport. I'll tell Tavish you're coming. He promised to look after you while you're there. Oh, and do try to return with a crown, your majesty. Indubitably. Ah, there she is. I couldn't miss you if I tried, LJ. You're the spitting image of your aunt. Really? Well, not so much how you look, but you both have a similar quality, I suppose. Maybe it's a smell, something familiar. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think it's just me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, welcome to England. Honestly, I'm here to win a crown and get back home where the buses are normal and people know how to pronounce aluminum. But thanks for making this happen, Tavish. That was nothing, love. I owe your aunt a favor or two and a fair bit of money, if I'm being honest. But that's neither here nor there. Since I'm helping coordinate the tournament, it was no skin off my back to get you in. And everyone's absolutely chuffed your ear. Really? Because I got a message from Zelina about someone named Beth Spartan. Duh, I was hoping that wouldn't be an issue. There was going to be a spot in the tournament for a local UK competitor. But when NXT UK management heard you were interested in entering, with a little persuasion from yours truly, they decided to give it to you instead. Beth Spartan was sure she was going to get it. I didn't mean to bump anyone, Tavish. No, 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 you didn't. Not really. I don't think it would have gone to Beth anyway. But turns out that people kind of think you used your aunt's connections to get a shot at the crown, which, fair play to them, is pretty much exactly what happened. So you're saying I've got a target on my back? I wouldn't say a target, love. Just a... Uh... Marker. 
maybe. But keep your head on a swivel. You're facing Sonia Deville first, and she's not a huge fan of nepotism. Well, well, well. You're lucky that I'm not running this tournament. We're all lucky you're not running this tournament. Because then you just figure out a way to give yourself the crown and we'd have all wasted a trip. At least every contestant would deserve to be here. Don't act like you wouldn't have done the same thing. I plan on winning this tournament, and I have to be in it to win it. Whatever. I guess it's up to me to send you back home. Because that's where you belong. Good luck with that, Sonia. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following... Put your hair up and square up. Sit down in front of the telly because it's time to kick off the Queen's Crown Tournament from the UK. And I don't think there could be a better setting. The royalty, the pageantry. I only wish we could have seen Ben Spartan get a shot on her home turf. No, oh, come on, Saxton. Spartan would be totally outclassed. At least this way, Sonya Deville might actually work up a sweat. Deville is struggling to defend herself. Sonya keeps getting cut down. And Sonya is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Yeah, Sonya getting some newly determined focus. She anticipated that one. Mass slam with some attitude. That offense taking a toll on her. She can withstand the punishment, though. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Just continuing to dis. 
dismantle their opponent. Ah, oh, look at this. Hairball slam. Stomp after stomp after stomp. And she's being held in check here. This is where her grit will be put to the test. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Dumped face first. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop, too. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. First. Oh, what a fall! Sonya has lost any momentum here. DeVille needs to be resourceful in this situation. DDT! Cover! Two! Forces the shoulder up after two. She just won't stay down. Big right hook. Return fire from DeVille. Yeah, Sonya getting some... Wow, the power that takes is insane. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is... Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And she's in total control. Momentum has clearly swung her way. I really think this is the most opportune time to be looking for the fans' praise. What is she going for here? And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Expected that one. How insulting is that? And Sonya avoids that one. First with a waistlock takedown. to the floor. Oh! And she slides her back to the mat. Cover here! An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
Nice work against Sonia last week, LJ. Ruddy strong performance. I uh, reckon you saw your facing Zelina tonight, eh? You ready? Definitely. She talks a big game, but I can handle her. Yeah, about that. Uh, I get the impression it might not just be her tonight. I hear she's bringing out a friend with her. Beth Spartan. You know, the bird who spot you nicked. You mean the woman whose spot you offered me? Yeah, I hardly feel like we need to debate semantics. My point is, some people might suggest you uh, strike first and take Beth out before she can be a factor. Some people or you? Me? No, I would never suggest something so underhanded. I like to play things with a straight bat. But some people, maybe those not involved in the tournament and who wouldn't be worried about accusations of favoritism, would have different ideas. After you got me an entry, I think we're past all that already. But, for argument's sake, would these some people suggest I, what, ambush her backstage before the match? Yeah, something like that. Now, some blokes might say it's unnecessary and you'd be putting a bigger target on your back, but... You do it, you must to win. You mean the some people suggesting I attack her say that? Right, right. Not me, obviously. I'm giving myself a bit of a headache. I need to lie down. So, do you know what you're gonna do? see a need to stoop to Zelina's level. I can take on her and anyone she wants to bring out to intimidate me. I'll play it straight. And when she loses her shot at the crown tonight, at least she'll have a friend to console her. I love the confidence. Go make it happen.
No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. Bow your head, Saxton. Show some respect for the queen. The only time I bow my head is when my neck hurts. And accompanied by Beth Spartan from Queens, New York, Queen Zelina. Queen Zelina possesses over a decade of experience in the ring. Yeah, you may not like her attitude, but Queen Zelina is a true student of the game. She knows every trick in the book, and knowing those tricks has brought her great success. What is wrong with Queen Zelina's attitude, Saxton? You sound like a real peasant. Give me about four hours, and I'll tell you. There have been many who've called themselves the queen, but Zelina is the only one with the crown. will be inside the ring around. You gotta love Beth Spartan making it clear you can't push her out of this tournament that easily. And you gotta wonder why someone wouldn't just take her out before letting it get to this point. That could be a costly mistake. Zelena was scouted there. Big hook! And a forearm smash. the easy way. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? And she dodges that. Zelina whips her into the ropes. And Spartan's got her foot. Zelina capitalizes, taking her down with a vicious blow to the back. She returns the favor there. Trying to talk at the back of the neck here. She's enduring some damage. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. <laughs> what a four. And she's gained total control of this match. She is being merciless. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Zelina dodges out of that. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. Slips out of the way. Great job refocusing to reverse that. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Oh, right, right. Able to evade. Oh, impressive counter. She steers clear of that one. And a well-executed move we just saw there. And it's effective. And she still fails to extend any resistance here. Yeah, she's being met with a roadblock every time. is just ahead. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. DDT. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Oh, my God. How does anyone kick out at this point? Climbing the turnbuckle now. Watch out. Daddy, foot stop to the chest. We got a cover. She is still in this fight. Oh, seated bionic elbow. Ooh, four connects. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Ooh, dropped right on their face.
this was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Now that was a proper victory. <laughs> Selena wasn't ready for what you were bringing. Maybe next time she'll spend more time training and less time running her mouth. It did feel really good to knock her out of the picture. Don't lose focus. Still got one more match and Bianca Belair standing between you and Queen's Crown Glory. You're right. I've got to remain focused. And at least right now, I know that I can turn all my attention towards Bianca and stop worrying about Zelina and Beth. Take care of Bianca, and no matter what anyone says, you'll head home as royally. I mean, not in an official sense, but you do get to keep the crown. I think. I'll ask. But I still wouldn't count on Zelina and Beth to put all the mucking about behind them, though. You might want to keep an eye out for any tomfoolery. Head, swivel, got it. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The fun. The EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the great est. Get it? Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. Eight competitors, seven matches, one transatlantic flight, and it all comes down to this. A final contest to determine who will wear the Queen's crown. Either way, it's clear. Those eight competitors were the right eight competitors. Cover here. Quick kick out from her there. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. 
Ooh, look at her answering back. Well, nothing fancy here. Taste in victory. Throws up the shoulder. Zelina's quite ready to walk away from this tournament. Oh, it looks like it's just mind games. We'll see what impact that has on this match. Plays into the corner. Boom! Right to the midsection. Boom! Just turn that around. Oh my God! Belair with the wherewithal to avoid that. Rescinded right back. It seems like that trap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. She manages to get control. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. She did her homework there. Things to ringside with the reversal. Oh. Delivered into the barricade. Thanks for the barricade. Three. Four. Pow, right in the kisser. Didn't see it coming. Bianca Belair is taking her claim here as the EST. Boom! Good contact. Belair able to counter. The boom swing. First place to have a Kiss of death. Will Belair close this out? Nothing. 
She's been on the offensive for a little while now. It looks like there's nothing there that can stop her. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. She re-enters the ring now. on wondering what might have been. For most Royals, the bloodline is most important, and apparently WWE is no different. Oh, come on, Saxton. She earned it in the ring. And what queen has ever taken the throne without a little drama? Well, whether her hands are clean might be up for debate, but no one can deny at the end of the day, she's the one wearing the crown. Congratulations, your majesty. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't bow. At my age, if I go down, I might never get back up. As long as you're doing it in spirit. <laughs> Quite right. So how does it feel? Like the crown was made to sit on my head. I knew I deserved to win, but I'm glad that now everyone has to agree. I'm a little surprised Zelina didn't try anything more. I guess she was as scared to cross me as she is annoying. I agree. I expected more from Zelina, some kind of tomfoolery. Oh, speaking of, there was a small incident in the lockers during your match. do not look like anything's been nicked, but someone silly stringed everyone's bags. Huh. Dumb prank, but guess it's someone's idea of a good time. Weird. Are you heading straight back to the States, or are you going to hang around a bit? I know some folks at my local would love to shake hands with a queen. Or at least I queen. I've got to get back. Maybe next time? I'll hold you to it, love. Have a nice flight.
I don't know about you, but I desperately need a vacay. Sun, sand, margs, and if a superstar wanted to join me and maybe have a match for research, I could get WWE to pick up a tab. So any interest in doing a little work south of the border? First round's on me.
What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. You wanted to talk to me? I heard the rumors and I want to be in the tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. Tag team? Money in the Bank? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. It's already the worst kept secret in WWE. But did I miss something? Are you in a tag team now? No, but since when was that a barrier to entry? Seems like WWE's whole deal is putting teammates together at the last minute for matches. Not all of them even like each other. <laughs> Touché. All right, I can get you an opportunity. Yes! To qualify. Ah! And don't think I'm going to play tag team matchmaker. Most of the women on the roster are looking for a partner to swipe right on so that they can win the briefcase and challenge Asuka and Tamina for the titles. I don't have time for it. Find a partner and I'll get you in the qualifying match. Now that, I can do. Thanks. Just make the most of it. Winning the tag championships would be no small accomplishment.
I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own? I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing backup to someone else in my previous tag teams. I may not have a tag team history here, but with my family's legacy, I can certainly relate to that. I thought you might. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, let me know. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. <laughs> you have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around W. Anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone would be lucky to team with me. Speaking of, do you have a partner? No, but I'm looking for one. Interesting, because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do. Winning the tag team titles. Not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash, a former and future champion with an up-and-coming legacy superstar. And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. I hear you. Experience is important. Teaches you what to expect in the ring and what to avoid. I knew you'd get it. And I'm happy to share it all with you if you decide you want to give our partnership a go. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand. This is all so exciting! A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up! Fanny! I thought you were still at NXT! But are you trying to enter the Money in the Bank match? Uh, do you have a partner? I am at NXT, but no rule said I can't compete for those tag team titles! I'm looking for a partner. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly, I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place. Wanting it so badly. I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I get that. Sometimes it's what makes the difference and gets you the win. I'm ambitious too. I I'll heard they to asked you. you to wear your aunt's gear for Survivor Series, but you decided to make... How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah, I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. 
Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. Oh? I want to tag with someone with a proven track record and experience that can make me even better. I've made my decision. I'm asking Natalia to be my tag partner. Interesting choice. I'll set you up for the first qualifying match tonight. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, D. D. For a young second generation superstar like this, each match isn't just a battle against her opponent, it's a battle to create her own legacy. She's got all the tools, Corey. Now we get to see what she does with them. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. And her partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Spawned from a family of WWE Hall of Famers, she is the self-proclaimed boat best of all time. Utilizing her style honed inside the dungeon and always maintaining supreme focus inside the ring. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. Here comes the pride fighter. And a woman who is all about the power. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Oh, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell.
disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full-time in mixed martial arts. One of the WWE's grittiest new superstars is Josie Jane. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie Jane. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. You can see how much every fight means to Josie. The road to the first ever WWE Tag Team Money in the Bank match begins right here on SmackDown. The brand new rookie and her brand new partner are kicking things off in a qualifying match against Tough as Nails veterans Sonya Deville and Josie Jane. I'll be watching to see if Justine's knees can keep her momentum going here after that big win against David Moreno. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Boom, head kick connects. Claws piercing into the skin. Quick thinking pays off. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. A oh, straight forearm. She adjusts it and reverses it. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. It's just attacking the knee. Takes out the knee. She's going for it. This could be. Strong kick out late into the match. Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Turns that back on Sonya. Herself. Sonya keeps getting cut down. A 
attacking the knee. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Close to being collateral damage in this one. She sent to the outside. Oh, slam. Oh. Oh, slam with authority. And gets tossed back into the mat. She was clearly waiting for that. big takedown. She's showing signs of slowing now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, followed by a nasty clothesline. She's tagged in. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Elbow to the gut. 
But he works for wear in the corner now. Double axe handle smash. The end is looming now. This has just been an absolute. superstars. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. Well, this pair certainly has something to celebrate, qualifying for the first ever tag team Money in the Bank match. It was a huge win in the... What was that? Someone said help! Oh, my God! What's that she's under? A, a fallen lighting rig? Help! How does this kind of accident even happen? Help. Do you really think this is just an accident, Corey? Well, what else could it be? This tag team's too new to have enemies. Well, we hope she's okay. We'll keep you updated on this developing situation. Can't wait to get this space back. Ready? One, two, three. Lift! Why is this so heavy? <sighs> that good? Nah, we gotta get it closer for pickup. Honestly, I'm just glad that you weren't the one who got hurt. Can you imagine? Taken out by a lighting rig. No, luckily recovery's only a few weeks. Too late to help me for the tag team money in the bank match, though. Even a small injury can mess with your head. Believe me, I know. Did they ever figure out how that thing fell? Unclear. Seems like dumb bad luck. For me too. Finally figure out who to partner with and now they're not even cleared to compete. Such a bummer. We were just getting started together. You know, I always loved watching the tag matches the most when I was on the road with you. And those tapes of you and Molly tagging together weren't bad either. Ah yes, your new best friend, Molly. 
She's not my best friend. Don't you want me to be on good terms with management? Fine, you're right. Lift. I think those championships are so aspirational for me because WWE finally has them. After the women's titles were introduced in 2018, tag matches started to seem even more important. Ow! Excuse me? What did I do? No shade to the current generation, but I grew up watching women compete on TV in tag team championship matches. You did? I have clearly failed to teach you proper wrestling history. Yes! Did you think I grew up in a vacuum and one day said, I think I'll become a professional lady wrestler? No! I watched and was inspired just like you. For me, it was seeing the main event women's championship match at the Brawl to End It All in 84 that gave me the bug. But the tag champions back then were formidable too. I would have loved to see the superstars of today defend against some of the women I grew up idolizing on TV. So what happened to the titles? I don't know. Appetites changed. Management started putting their attention elsewhere and opportunities dried up. The championships, and a lot of the women themselves for that matter, got pushed aside. You did your stint in catering. You know what it's like. Yeah, not the best when you're fighting for limited opportunities. <laughs> you have way more opportunities than I ever did. If I had the chance to accomplish what you can... You accomplish plenty. Take even the current tag titles. Like you said, I never even had a chance to compete for a tag team championship when I was in WWE. They weren't a thing then. In fact, I heard you're in need of a partner. What do you say? Can you imagine? You and me standing as champions at WrestleMania? The Mysterios can't have a lock on this family thing. <laughs> Very funny. Like you could get in the ring again. Did I tell you that Molly said I can't even pick my own replacement partner? Oh? Your best friend isn't letting you call the shots? Oh, shush. No, everyone's clamoring to team up with me since I've already secured the money in the bank opportunity. So they're having a fatal four-way on Raw to decide. Interesting method. You know, on second thought, maybe I want to keep this desk. So many memories. Justine! Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let's go. One... Two, three! <laughs>
know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front, because that means you're away from me, too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine. Then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us. Then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I'll get the pin. I'm not leaving this up to you. Fine. Go for it.
Where'd Trish go? Certainly wasn't expecting to see her tonight, but I'd love to see what she thought of our matchup. She peaced right after the match. We could never stand to spend that much time together. Didn't you see any of our singles matches? Not the biggest fan of me. But she came to team with you? Yes, she did. Because despite our differences, we respect each other. And we respect what happens in the ring. That's my point. You don't need to like each other to win. But you guys lost. I'm not saying we took it easy on you, but we're WWE legends. I'm choosing not to process that last comment. I don't want to ruin this moment of getting a victory over you and Trish Stratus. Fine by me, but you get my point. You two are as ready as you're going to be. Just try not to kill each other before the Money in the Bank match, okay? And no promises. Couldn't I technically win the tag team titles alone? I know it would be harder, but possibly worth it. Oh, shut up. Listen, I know I'm biased in terms of what outcome I'd like to see tonight, but I can't get over the fact that we're previewing a women's tag team Money in the Bank match. Women didn't even have a regular Money in the Bank match until 2017. Boy, what I would give to compete. But since I can't, I will say that my niece has been putting in the work. I will admit she's not with the partner I hoped she would be competing with, but as they say, you win some, you lose some. In any event, it'll be an interesting evening. And I'm sure the tag champs will be watching carefully.
Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is a triple threat tag team ladder match. Introducing first from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, D. D. Blessed with natural ability and Rod's guidance, the sky's the limit for this superstar. Guidance is well and good, but you've got to be willing to take charge of your own career or you'll wake up one day and wonder where it went. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Ava looks ready to make the most out of this opportunity. Here comes Nikki A.S.H. A.S.H. Almost a superhero or more like super villain. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Well, lately, Nikki has been more like almost a super villain as opposed to a hero. That's what we call trending in the right direction, Saxton. That's what I call heartbreaking. Don't let the get up fool you. Nikki A.S.H. is a battle-tested competitor. Hey, she helped revolutionize women's wrestling in Europe. And now Nikki's only interested in helping herself. It's called looking out for number one. Hey guys, you ready for some flex appeal? From Cleveland, Ohio, Dane. Well, I think that's the problem. I think Dana pays too much attention to the WWE Universe. Dana Brooke needs to take care of business. Tremendous energy and desire. She's hoping to solidify her, her position in the championship mix. Courageous, gutsy, and getting stronger every day in her climb to the top. for brutal judgment. Rhea Ripley is a tough, tough woman. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. 
Rhea's had plenty of accolades. She's held the NXT UK and the NXT Women's Championship. Now, such an impressive resume for Rhea Ripley, but man, is she intimidating. Yeah, it's no easy task to face down Rhea Ripley. Always ready to eradicate any obstacle in her way. And the Eradicator about to pass her judgment. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shasi. Well, Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Oh, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. Not afraid to fight, knows how to survive. And she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring, too. It's time for WWE's first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. The atmosphere is incredible. Almost makes me want to climb up that ladder myself. Nobody wants to see that, Saxton, especially with three incredible teams vying to make history, including the unlikeliest of them all, Ava Moreno and her partner. One of these teams who likes their names in the record books, but I need a chance at tag team goal. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. And her countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Oh, God. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. He's going under the ring now. Back up, Steiner. Right to the back of the neck. She sent back in under the ropes. Close line to the back of the neck. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Oh, man, check it out. She goes up the water. Be careful. Her time is coming in. Just have to pull it down. Take a bit of a chance.
moves outside. What's the plan here? And that was an effective attack, guys. <laughs> Nothing fancy about that. We finally know the winners of the first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. Wonder what Asuka and Tamina think about all this. They're confident champions. This is no real threat to them. I'm not sure the briefcase holders are on the same page. Hopefully they can get it together enough to cash in that contract. We'll see. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash-in for a tag team championship match. 
Again with this my thing. We both won the money in the bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the money in the bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not playing your games. Fine. But I'm not cashing in this contract with the partner I don't trust to get the job done. We'll have this conversation again later. If it isn't Miss Sneaky, I would say I didn't see you coming, but I totally did. Feel like showing me you're more than just a goody two-shoes by proving you can play dirty? Fine. But only because I want to get this cash in on the road. Not because I need to prove myself to you. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. And a match slam! Look at this, just stop after stop after stop! You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. She avoids the contact. And a suplex. Ooh, what a forearm club. Looks like it's gonna be a modified surfboard. Vicious arm stop. And Shotzi didn't see that coming. She's hooked up. The face has been planted. Roundhouse kick! That was nasty. Oh my gosh! She's in serious pain! Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Shotzi is being taken apart here. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring. That ain't right. Ooh, that 
That's how you dominate your opponent. Less than a second to stay alive there. She's found the opening, and that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Taking hold of Shotzi here. And some effective offense with that one. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. performance looking for a high risk reward situation Shotzi with a senton ball Shotzi got it can she end it looking for the victory two count oh my that was close wait are we sure that was not a three count you can't count that high Saxton but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see can't put this one away even after that big maneuver she had it scouted Shotzi's in big, big trouble. Trying to end it. And a victory here tonight. Here is your winner, D. D. They just won a very important match. I'll hang my hat on the win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of. Happy now? See? I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash-in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst.
It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. I'm so excited because here comes the GCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shazzy! The Red Hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown a rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. She flips it back on her. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Clearly no walk between these two with a display like that. Oh, man, by the hair! Hair whip! It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Oh, I able to counter. And Shotzi stops any momentum that was building against her. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Oh, what a close line. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. And what a maneuver we just saw there. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Bat in hand, stepping up to the plate indeed. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Oh, Shotzi manages to counter. A well-timed dodge. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Thrown back in under the ropes. And she'll get sent out the hard way. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Reversal! Can she capitalize? She throws her back in. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. Is that... Is that a stop sign? No, it's a different red octagon used for traffic control. Oh, solid form. What's she thinking here? Oh, the face has been planted. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. Stuck in the corner, trapped in the corner, and then the kicks. Oh, take it down. Her energy is fading rapidly now. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. There they go. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. Able to get the advantage here. Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. And she continues to take on an overbearing offense. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. I don't know what they're looking for here. She'll take things into the ring. To the outside. This could get wild. Shotzi reverses it. She's trying to fight back in this one. Returning to the ring now. Shotzi oozing confidence, but she... That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring. That ain't right. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. And there was some force on that move. Big hook! Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. She will wisely return to the ring now. Right, we're seeing the 
same aggressive here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cast it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll. Slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. unexpected you defending me in the ring certainly was I was talking about Raquel we're tag team partners it's not like I don't like you you have literally told me before that you don't like me Ava fair point but I didn't know you you were just some new girl coming in to take my spot I get the frustration but that wasn't what I was doing. I was offered a WWE contract and given an opportunity to debut. Was I supposed to say no? Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kinda mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other, which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great.
We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you, save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly! Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car to it and watch a movie on it. Gotta find out what a workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton. Harder than yours. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. Superstars in history, but she is quickly growing in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Shocking turn of events. Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. Oh, man, what a strike. Oh, my God. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. And Raquel's resolve might be wavering here. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Raquel's confidence? Oh, 
leg drop across the back of the neck. Uh-oh. Flapjack way up there. Oh, I got right to the gut. She saw it coming. Bang it back with their own counter. Snap suplex. Very nice. Saw it coming and got out of there. Stomp after stomp after stomp. She scores big with the counter. A counter answered by another counter. Resolves looking unsteady here. Yeah, a lot of work going into keeping her down now. She's tied up. Oh, the face has been planted. Goes down low. And snap DDT. Cover. And they're still in this. Set crashing to the floor. Tossed into the corner. Full impact. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Uh oh, from the top. Step down. That was nasty. This match is falling apart for her. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. Dropped her like she was nothing. Oh! Stop after stop after stop. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. And what a throw that was. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, by the hair, whipped across the ring. That ain't right. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Chucked around like that. Left by the turnbuckles. <laughs> Brutal forearm. <laughs> and here come the punches. Shotzi ducks. Nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. They said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. At the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> and look how far you've come. 
Got the timing right this time, and the ref didn't see a thing. If you had used the chair that fast in our match, I would have been done. I will admit, fighting a little dirty is a good time. You may have had a point. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You want to face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah. Not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. I love it. I'll face Shotzi. Then I'll take Raquel. Best of luck, partner. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. Well. After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Ava Moreno's partner is now facing Shotzi one-on-one, -on -one, while earlier tonight, Ava took on Raquel Rodriguez. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing. Well, it feels like something other than morality is at play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat-the-clock challenge. And Ava's already set a tough time to beat at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Oh, that backfired on her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And just planting them with that DDT there. Saw that one coming. Oh, Shotzi gets drawn in. And we just saw some serious offense. And Shotzi reverses it. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring. That ain't right. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Gotta be careful not to get disqualified. She's got big plans and an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Forearm. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Roundhouse kick. Boom! Thanks for coming. 
She's not in a good spot. And well-timed maneuver there. Shotzi gets drawn in. Oh, the face has been planted. Ah, uh, kick to the midsection. DT. That's got to be it. There's two. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, D. D. Wrestle, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. That deal's the deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the Tag Team Championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely.
I'm good to go if you're ready to cash in the briefcase for our tag team championship match. You won the right to decide what we're doing, after all. I'm ready. No time like the present to become champions, right? But I've been thinking. As the first ever tag team briefcase holders, we need to make our cash in memorable. Something that WWE Universe will be talking about for years to come. I could not agree more. I don't want to just win the championships. I want us to be in the WWE Best Money in the Bank Cash in Highlight video. What are you thinking? I have two ideas. Both guaranteed to catch the champions off guard, excite the WWE Universe, and get us in that video. We could pretend to lose the briefcase again and accuse Asuka and Tamina of stealing it. That would give an enterprising tag team an opportunity to strike, especially if they found some extra security guard uniforms lying around. Interested? What's the other idea? Ever notice how the refs never actually open the briefcase to make sure the contract's inside? I think we can use that to our advantage and fake the champions out. I love the way your brain works. I'm down for either. What do you want to do? You won the choice, so it's yours. Let's fake them out with an empty briefcase. About time there were consequences for the refs not being thorough enough. I love consequences where we end up as champions. We have a great matchup in store tonight as the tag champs will be taking on Nikki A.S.H. and her formidable partner. Hold on one second. These two aren't in tonight's matchup, but they've got the Money in the Bank briefcase. Looks like they're casting in for the tag team title match right now. Seriously? That's it? No deception? Just interrupt the scheduled match? Maybe they didn't think they needed any of that. It's official, the first ever tag team briefcase is being cashed in. I don't know if it's the best cash in strategy, but it's a strategy. We'll have to see if it pays off. And this first ever tag team cash in match is underway. How long did they spend coming up with this plan? Because run down and cash in before the champs have competed? It's not very creative. I'll admit I've seen more calculated cash ins in my day, but if they walk out as champions, it won't matter. Okay. Oh, the face has been planted. Oh, ouch. Nasty roundhouse kick. Who the forearm connects? Boom. Ooh, 
The champ taking their share of hits now. Well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael, and I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. <laughs> Forearm to the jaw. Asuka's being overwhelmed. Rare to see Asuka in distress like this. How's that for a counter? was vicious. Oh, by the hair! Right across the ring. That ain't right. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. And that toss sent them soaring. Just a perfect mix of pure power. No! Suicide dive! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Oh, she responds with a counter. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count comes out, the Empress striking at will. Boom! Such educated feet. Tamina looked opening, and that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Quick thinking from Tamina. She's totally unprotected, and that was a precisely measured attack. Into the corner. This can't be good. Things went from bad to work. Oh, from the top. It just got ripped right off the top. Oof. What a barrage of stops. Oof. Man, what a hit. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Tamina showing how much punishment she can withstand before dishing it back tenfold. Tamina hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. Goodness gracious. believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. And Tamina didn't see that coming. Big time throws line. Good grief. Well scattered reversal there. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Oh, God. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Uh-oh. Oh, quite an effective counter. Here we go, Byron. Some moment drop. Suplex on the tag team champion. Wait, what is Nikki ASH doing here? Well, apparently, she's not happy that her tag team championship. And now she's going to ruin it for the challenger. The referee's throwing the match up. The match might be over, but it seems like the now former briefcase holders have something to say. Nikki ASH.
We had one chance to cash in our Money in the Bank contract. And you ruined it! Is what I would say if I didn't ask Nikki to do that. Wait a second, what did she say? You might be wondering, why would we ask someone to interfere and cause a disqualification during our hard-won championship opportunity? I would be wondering that. But in truth, I have never been so happy that Nikki interfered and attacked the champions, which would make them a little bit more vulnerable if they were to have to compete again tonight. And I have never been so pleased that WWE referees never look inside the briefcase to verify a cash-in. There's no contract inside. And without the contract, that's just an ordinary briefcase. That wasn't our cash-in. This is. I thought their cash-in strategy was suspect, but I take it back. This is genius. I agree, a masterful plan and a great execution from the challengers. But will it be enough? If all that doesn't throw the tag champs off their game, I don't know what will. And Tamina didn't see that coming. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring! That ain't right. The challenger is not in a great place. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Quick thinking from Tamina. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. And it looks like the new champs are soaking in every moment of this championship celebration. And after what they faced to get here, mostly each other, they deserve it.
OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. I regretted it as soon as I said it. about to see a fight courtesy of the Empress of Tomorrow. The pageantry before the punishment. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, from Osaka, Japan. Think about this, gentlemen. Asuka has a combined 914 days without defeat in NXT and WWE. And Asuka has remained dominant even after that historical streak. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. And her partner from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. It's not surprising that pretty much everyone has to be on the defensive around Tamina. She just loves hurting people. No, she just loves to flex her power. And there ain't nobody Mina than Tamina. Unparalleled aggression and next level brutality. The WWE Universe on their feet. And D D and Ava Moreno. Ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. And no offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say, history has been made at the conclusion. The WWE Women's Tag Titles have quickly risen to prominence. The former Tag Team Champs refuse to go away. You have to respect them answering the champion's open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in Tag Team Dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. Asuka's in the grass, and that was a well-executed attack. We don't often see Asuka in this position. <laughs> this has to be a... Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Uh-oh, the end is near. No way she survived. Well, this is unique. Oh, man. and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And she maintains this consistent offense. Yeah, she's proven difficult to grab a hold of. Face first. Reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Up. Oh, man, by the hair! Hair whip! Tamina being controlled by the... Eye. 
position here. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. Watch her set up in the corner. Tagged in. Level move. Cutter. Two. A kick out. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship needs. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers. is the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. We haven't seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bellas cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable. I didn't realize you were here tonight. Uh, last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up. But I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah. And it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. 
I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests, or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. I see your point. I want to be a real competitor, too. It must have been infuriating. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow. I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. Would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio, and it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa! Smackdown is our show now! Stay in your lane! That's enough! You've done enough! Break it up! What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins.
No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Justine from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, one half of the women's tag team champions, D. D. Given her history and ability, it's hard not to expect big things from this superstar. It's not that hard, Saxton. Potential means nothing compared to results. Let's see if she can get those. This is a woman ready to do some damage. Pins of the women's revolution. And their opponents, Nikki and Brie, the Bella Twins. Brie and Nikki, a dominant team long before the women's tag titles ever existed. But now they plan to make the entire women's tag team division suffer. women's tag team in history. This fearless rookie may be fighting the Bellas by herself tonight, but she didn't come alone. For the first time since Survivor Series, Justine is back! And what a time to return. There's always been bad blood between Justine and the Bellas, and it looks like it's about to boil over here tonight. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Nikki counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalia doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalia got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece. It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past, but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two-minute match. I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come, but I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me.
crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins. But I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen, no disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. A point? I don't know. WWE's come so far since the Divas division, and I'm not going to be nostalgic about the past. Certainly not a past that, in my opinion, did more harm than good. Besides, I want to beat the Bella Twins. Now those last two points we can agree on. There's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's great. Thank you. Believe me, it'll be my pleasure. Wait a second, what's happening? I didn't think the Bella Twins were here tonight. The Bella Twins aren't, but the tag team champions are, and it looks like they're having more than a little fun imitating the Bellas. They're dressed just like them, too. I don't think it's meant to be a tribute, Byron, although they certainly must have studied their tape to get the Bellas moves down like that. It's a catchy song. Kind of makes me want to dance and swivel my hips like the Bella Twins, too. Please refrain, Saxton. No one wants to see that. And I think Natalia and Beth Phoenix will want to do a lot less dancing and a lot more fighting when they get out in the ring. And I don't blame them. It's disrespectful to make fun of the former Divas like this. Well, that's a score we have to see settled here tonight. As this match gets underway, is there any concern the tag champs may be splitting focus between their opponents and the Bellas? I agree. It could be giving Natalya and Beth Phoenix extra motivation to set these young champs straight. Well, they're going to have to set a legend straight while they're at it, because Justine has come to ringside in the champ's corner. We'll see what role she plays in this match. Looking bad for her here. She's reached a critical point in this match, Cole. It's up to her if she wants to play it safe or keep fighting. Counters. This could be an opportunity.
All wrapped up. Beautiful fireman's carry takedown. Seated drop kick connects. There's the tag. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. Ooh, and Beth fights back. Escape just in time. Uh oh, made her pay for her mistake. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, what a fall! Lifts their opponent's oh. legs. And oh. is in a state of distress. Looks like Beth is having trouble generating any sort of defense. Oh, what a kick! Stuck in the corner, teeing off a series of brutal kicks. Oh, and a total sit-up mat slam. Now, oh, tracking the opposition. You might be in some trouble now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. <laughs> Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Oh, by the hair, whipped across the ring. That ain't right. All the momentum has swung to her favor. Yeah, she is going all out. The power on display right now is ridiculous. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Oh, man. Oh, God. Natalia caught off guard. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, what a shot. Shut up, Byron. Oh, Beth caught by the counter. She sent to the outside. Counter. And now there's an opening. Full oh, takedown. Got the shoulders down. And the count stopped short of two. And there's the save. Jumping face buster. God driven face first. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Into the barricade. Face front off the barricade. Six. Gotta be careful not to get disqualified. She left an opening. Oh, the face has been planted. Her back in from ringside. She gets it. Got to look out for that right hook. Man, I think we're seeing the end for Beth Phoenix. Yeah, not looking good at all. Oh, God, face first. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. Here's a cover. Could be it. Somehow breaks the count immediately. Amazing effort by her. Natalia sent flying to the outside. A roundhouse kick. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, 
fatigue is setting in for her. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Beth wasting a bit of time here. Could cost her. Oh, my gosh! Stop it! Some control set right out of the ring. Split legged red zone. And that'll be a rope break right there. Oh my! She's got an answer for that. A stalemate. superstars that go great together and that win is proof and if i'm in the tag division i'm hoping with all my heart i don't come across these two in the future They're here! The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules match! And is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship! And D, D, and Ava Moreno. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. 
The tag team champions rivalry with the Bella Twins has led to this. One grueling match to stand tall over the tag team division. One stand for Past, present, and... Looking for an early pin. The champion dodges the two count. Really overzealous going with a pin attempt there. Taking head over heels. Climbs back inside. This one is headed outside, guys. Gentlemen, quickly into the cover with a title on the line. She kicks out before one. She came here to fight, not lay down. Here's a snap there. And a basement drop kick. Big right there. Hangman's neck break. Dollars. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Good night. Back suplex. Shot to the back of the neck. Someone called a dentist. Oh man, looks like her opponent's gonna need a chiropractor. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. The champ now absorbing a little damage. The stipulation. She better watch out. Big hook. Oh my God! Went into the corner now. Nice. That don't even wake you up or knock you out. Drop kick to the face. Whip back into the ring. Right to the kidneys from behind. Green Bella firing up the WWE Universe. Channeling that energy. So that coming. She bails in a hurry. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Just dead left in right there. The power. Power slam. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Breeze in the crowd. And what a maneuver we just saw there. That was a, as the challenger pin. Is this it? Fending off a two count there. Not time to expect victory yet. Some effect. 
effective offense with that one. She's really looking for the early victory, but she didn't find it. Oh, by the hair, went across the ring. That ain't right. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Huge toss. That move had the amount of force that came to a natural disaster. And if the first up doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. She turns it right around with a counter. Taken down with a body slam. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. The stipulation. She better watch out. Playing out with a power slam. And there was some force on that move. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And you know she means business since she went with the sledgehammer. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. There's no crying in baseball, gentlemen. But finding yourself on the receiving end of that bat might tell a different story. Is just vicious, nasty stomp of the arm. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. And well timed maneuver there. And that definitely made solid impact. And Anders offense with a point for a pin for the championship. Gigi kicks at it too. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Oh, toast hard into the ring post. Coming back in the ring. Oh, the champ's got the pin to retain. He's still as determined as ever. Ava interrupts the attack.
Once and for all. Pat. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your... Show her opponent what she's got. Caught with a DDT. Off into the pin. She breaks the count quick. Doesn't go well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh, punishing. The follow away slam. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. He is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Oh, by the hair, looking across the ring. That ain't right. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Got her in her sights and making clear she's going to make this hurt. The challenger's looking shaken. Getting back into the ring. She wants to take this one outside the ring at to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Bullseye with the drop kick. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. She avoids the contact. Letting her opponent know she's planning on using that bat. Quick reaction to breathe there. Moreno was waiting for that. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. What a barrage of stops. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, suicide dive. Elbow on the spot. Well, this is a warning to grab this stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. Power slam. Shoulders. Gotta protect that region or the lights can go out fast. 
Shutting that down with the back elbow. And that was a well-executed attack. And that is an effective attack, guys. She's been trying to put her away by targeting that area all night, and she might have just accomplished that. I don't know how much more her opponent can take. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. Oh, the scoring rings on this. The champ looking out of sorts. In order to succeed in extreme rules, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. Rolling leg drop. And she dodged that one nicely. Big time throws on Good grief. No good things come from a sledgehammer being part of the equation. And something tells me she is very aware of that. And returning to the rank. Three with three. for the tag team champions. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. Great match! Great defense! And it doesn't hurt that your performance sent those Bella Twins packing. <laughs> Hope we don't see them again. Good riddance. I'm glad Ava and I took care of them. Take a moment to celebrate and relish the victory. But don't forget that the real work is just beginning. I understand. Just because we defeated the Bella Twins doesn't mean there aren't more women coming for our tag team championships. That's not exactly what I meant. Keep defending the tag titles, but you'll be ready to go for a singles championship soon. That should be your real goal. Get a few more rivalries under your belt and keep establishing yourself. Then we'll talk next steps. <laughs> 